If you're coming to AutoCAD 2013 from an older release, you're going to notice big changes in arrays. The first thing would be that an array is now formed in an associative manner. So this is not just a collection of balconies that were formed with an array. It is one array of balconies. It was formed with rows, columns, and levels, so it's fully 3D functional. And you'll notice that this array is able to follow along a surface that is not planar to any particular plane within the UCS. So this is a much more flexible way to construct geometry, especially in 3D space. Now, the fact that the array is associative makes it very easy to edit. So the ribbon interface that we see along the top here becomes now a very easy way to get to all of the various editing functionalities that you're going to be able to take advantage of due to having an associative array control. Now, if we look at one more example, uh, we can look at some balconies that have been arrayed around a building here that takes advantage of some circular geometry. So here we could go ahead and again click anywhere on that array and we see that it is in fact one associative array of balconies. And here we've been able to take six arrayed balconies around a particular fill angle and we've been able to propagate it up by using level controls. So this scratches the surface of some of the new functionality that we want to start looking at within this series. We're going to go ahead and begin by taking you through some familiar examples on the 2D plane so you can acclimate to the new interface, and then we'll look at some of the 3D functionality.